It's all kicking off over there. What's going on guys, welcome to a vlog. A vlog? A football vlog. I need to get used to this bald head of mine, but tonight, today, this evening, big game, huge game, massive game, monumental game in the Premier League. It is my beloved Tottenham versus that lot down the road, or around the corner. It's the North London derby. It doesn't get any bigger than this. Stakes are higher. It's literally a must win for Tottenham. If we don't win, we, you know, we can say goodbye to the Champions League. Just parked up at my good friend Ash's. Those that have watched the videos in the past will probably know who Ash is. I don't know where he is. Come to his house, he's not in. Round corner, mate. Was traffic, boo, my office. I think there's any way. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Now you're probably thinking, why are we not going in that? That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Um, Ash called me up earlier, asked me if I could drive, because he's got a new whip and he doesn't want to park in Tottenham, which is fair enough. Need to have a discussion as to why he thinks that this car is good enough for Tottenham though. Also, I've just put my hat on because I don't think he's seen my hair yet. See if I get a reaction. Ash absolutely loves his music. Um, unfortunately, I can't provide with any sort of playlists or anything in this car. Uh, so it's just pure radio. And we are stuck on one on 2.2, which is a banger after banger, has to be said. Let's have a look. Black Velvet. Yeah, growing up, while all the kids were listening to sort of Kiss and Radio 1, I was on Magic 105.4. Some of those songs have shifted over to Magic 105.4 now as we've grown up. Therefore, the songs that were on 105.4 have now shifted to 102.2 smooth. It's a banger of a station, I'd highly recommend. It's also worth noting the baby seats are in the back of here. Baby wipes on hand. But as long as he gets his lift to Tottenham, I don't think he'll mind. As for this, I, I can't explain that. I'm sorry. Here he comes. I, I don't know what he's doing. I, it's not as if we're in a rush to get there. Hey, hey, hey. Vlog's back. Have you seen this? Oh. oh I like <laughs> it. Oh, you like it? I like it. You're digging it? Feel, yeah. feel, feel my head. Smith Diesel. Smith Diesel. Smith Diesel. I'm driving a diesel, actually. <laughs> actually, <laughs> en route in a diesel. Just parking in Tesco. Seeing what the cost is going to be. Always an option, never a guarantee. It's only 15 minutes. It's only five minutes. And that is how you get to White Lane. It's not White Lane. You know what I mean. Ashley, getting the badge in, isn't he? Get the badge in. Get the badge in. Uh, what are you thinking? Nervous. I'm excited. I think we can do it 3 1, but my heart's telling me to all. Oh, I've missed you. I've missed you and all. Cool. We're a bit early, aren't we? What are you going for, Ash? Chicken and spinach. Chicken and spinach? Those that know, know. If you ever come to Tottenham, make sure you grab yourself the signature pie. It's basically bolognese inside a pie. It's beautiful. This is actually the first time since COVID that this stadium is going to be filled out as a North London derby. It's going to be pumping. Plenty of photos of football and football today. Plenty. Untold amounts. You see a nice bit of TIFO down there in a bit. Wish I was there. I really do wish I was there. But listen, this is a decent seat. There's not a bad seat in this house. I've got my wall as well. My beautiful wall. And then just in front of us here, all the way around here will be your away fans tonight, the old Gooners. No Dr Pepper at this gaff, just your Pepsi. Um, can someone explain to me the rule behind taking the bottle lid off and keeping the, the bottle? I could luz this further than what I could have bottled. It's one of those unexplained rules in football, but listen, we've got to roll with it. Oh, lovely. Beautiful stuff. Flag uh, at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium is absolutely exquisite.
see you. See you. Oh, and the Spurs go marching in. Oh, and the Spurs go marching in. I want to be in the number. Oh, and the Spurs go marching in. Go on then. I'll have someone up. Hi. There is a lot of angry geezers down there, I'm telling you. A lot of angry geezers. Right, coming in, Spurs free kick. Let's get something from this, double the lead, that'll do nicely. Over there, chucking beverages and whatnot. I mean, that's a waste if you ask me. Kulisewski, though, having a blinder out here. He's everywhere, everywhere. He's even here as well. He's up here and all. Get on that! Yes! Oh no! It should be game over. Saka's literally just ran all the way through us, and then, ooh, Hugo, Hugo. Two nil Spurs. You'd take that at the start of the game, wouldn't you? But this is Tottenham, and we get we nervous. Know we know we Tottenham. Know. Brilliant atmosphere. Brilliant atmosphere. Look who I bumped into, Andrew. What are you thinking? What are you thinking? I don't know. I can't feel my pulse. I can't feel nothing. <laughs> Numb, but like, this is it, isn't it? Buzzing. Come on. Come Buzzing. on, you Spurs. Buzz. Come on, you Spurs. Your, uh, your two all predictions still on, though. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to the groundsman, obviously. Keeping the beautiful game looking beautiful. Don't know what that is, but it looks all right. I may or may not have had two signature pies, though. So, um, I shouldn't really do any more. Okay. Let's do this. Come on, Spurs. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah! Come on, you spurs! I'm not gonna fly that one, Tommy, I've gone. I was expecting that. <laughs> it's beautiful, it's a beautiful sight. So much has gone on, my man hasn't had a chance to bite into this properly yet. It's all action at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. <laughs> This guy sit down. He never sits down. <laughs> oh no, somebody's forgot to take the pies out of the oven again. Jesus Christ. Oh dear. Oh dear. Yes, Hugo! Well, not many of them lot left. Definitely fancy a chicken right now, even though I've had two pies, but um, can't be dealing with the queues. Back to the promised land. How do we package that up though? <laughs> I'm thinking obviously half time, next goal is very, very crucial. We go out and we go out and do that. Sensational Spurs. Sensational. Put you there. Lost my voice from what you done. I have lost my voice. <laughs> I have lost my voice. <clears throat> well, clearly not enough because I'm talking right now, but yes. That's exactly what we needed. Couldn't ask for much more apart from a few more goals and that could have happened on another night. But yeah, happy with that. 3-0, Derby Day win, one point behind Arsenal. And now, I mean, there's nothing we can do other than win our last two games. It's Burnley and it's Norwich. Norwich, I'd fancy. Burnley's going to be tricky. Very tricky. Really tricky. And for Arsenal, it's Newcastle on Monday. Mm -hmm. 
followed by Everton. Again, could be tricky depending on the situation with the relegation zone. So it's interesting that we've got Burnley and they've got Everton. Both could potentially be in a relegation battle, but who knows? Um, but as it stands, we're one point behind them. We need a favour from one of those two clubs. Newcastle, Everton, do the business, please. And Spurs, just don't mess it up again. Let's go to Ireland. Got a lovely sunrise. Bye. And away we go. It is busy. I find it very hard to watch some of the games. I get so bored so fucking quick. But um, I got we got Graham moved into our place. I'm in Dublin. Um, the only problem is game doesn't start until quarter to eight tonight. I'm here at eight a.m. Uh, I can't check into my hotel until four. I might just edit this vlog in a cafe somewhere. But where am I going to find a cafe? Google. In other news, just found this. Fantastic, amazing. According to my maps, there's a, there's a bridge here. And here is said bridge. Okay, I think this is where I want to be. Well, a bit more where I want to be. Cobbled streets, pubs everywhere. I like it. Right, so I've Googled and there's a place called Accents, which is perfect for freelancers who want to grab a coffee and something to eat and settle down with a laptop for a couple of hours. That does seem perfect, but this uh, lorry's in the way at the moment. Maybe it's behind that, I don't know. The big reveal. No, just a, just a music shop. Oh, uh, no. No, 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 no. Why did I not look at that? All right, on to the next place. All right, I found another place, but it's completely in the other direction. A little bit of that. Might see them tonight. This time we're going over another bridge. I think we was on that one up there last time. Now we're down here. But we are going straight down there to uh, a place called Brother. Brother? Brother? Brother something. Brotherhood. I found a place. Brother Hubbard. I'm just going to go in on this breakfast and a large black coffee, I think. And whilst we wait for tonight's game, just start editing this vlog, I guess. It's been a long day, I'm not going to lie. I've just been sort of uh, traipsing around Dublin. Nice place. But I am absolutely... Knackered. What was I gonna say? I'm room one. When does that ever happen? Have you ever booked a hotel and become room number one? Crazy. This was literally the last place available uh, in Dublin on this night. I didn't want to stay at a hostel because obviously I've got uh, the bag and the laptop and whatnot. But yeah, uh, I think what I'm gonna do is get a quick 20 minute power nap in and then I'm gonna go to the Shamrock Rovers ground uh, for half five because Mark got in touch, he's from the media team. He said, I understand you're covering the game tonight. I said, yes. He said, have you got access? I said, yes, I've got a ticket. Be in the South Stand. But I did say, with the on the road, I like to sort of keep it as a fan's experience. So I didn't want to put any extras in. But he is still going to show me around the ground. Um, and I'll put it into this vlog. Little tour. Shamrock Rovers tour. Because that's the other thing I've got to bear in mind. Obviously last night wasn't an on the road. So I was able to sort of capture a little bit more. But tonight I'm going to be capturing it in the basis of it being an on the road. So there's not going to be much talking. It's just going to be me filming bits. Little sneak peeks of the, the on the road coming up. Knackered though. Let's get a quick hit. Player's entrance. Mark. Head of Media and Communication just explained to me that this is the biggest stadium in the League of Ireland. That's it, yeah. Um, opened up in 2009. Uh, you'll see when you get inside where the, uh, the fourth and final stand is being uh, constructed this year. Okay. We should bring our attendance up, our capacity up to 10,000. If you didn't know, Shamrock Rovers are. Are you the most successful Irish team? Yeah, that's our, our, our wall of <laughs> honour. Uh, thankfully, we were able to add to it. We actually put this up in 2011 and we stopped running things for a bit. Uh -huh. <laughs> Coolest stuff, a lot of history. Uh, so you were just saying Real Madrid came here? Yeah. Ronaldo's first game? Ronaldo and Benzema. And Benzema. And you were just Benzema. talking about some of the other results against these teams. So AC Milan only lost 2-0. AC Milan last uh, two years ago, September 2020. Um, Juve, you Juve just mentioned as well. Uh, they beat us 2-0. So funny enough, between AC Milan, Juve and Madrid, You've not been outdone. You've not been outdone. <laughs> and we, and we were just saying, as a Spurs fan as well, Harry Kane scored his first ever yeah. goal here as well. Yeah, and that is from the game that Harry scored his first goal. Yeah, good old Harry. Plenty of green and white in here. So much green and white. On the way in, just a reminder. Yeah, definitely. So as the teams line up here, it's the last thing we see. And the one star? 10 league wins. Okay. Um, we've now got 19. So what happens, do you get... For number 20. And you'll get two stars? You get the second star. Lovely, okay. This is where the players will walk out tonight. I took a 4G surface. And then we come out to the proper stuff. The groundsman's been doing a very good job. That's superb. That is a superb surface, I'm telling you. 
Love that. So, so this is your south stand, that's where I'm going to be tonight. Yeah, so that's where the, the hard car would be. That's where our new, our new uh, stand will be built. That's the so you're going to plan on that being just as big as this one? Yeah. Yeah. A few, few extra design touches, but seating wise, same capacity. That's a lovely little gaff. Lovely little gaff. That's the uh, Dairy City squad there. Just having a little feel. They look so young, didn't they? It is a very young league in general. Yeah. That's the, the TV studio up there where the, you can see the light above the scoreboard. So that's where our oh, team yeah. will be broadcasting. Well, their, their studio, their panel will be in there. Uh, we're going places, we're going places. Is, is up. Um, there was one and eight, and then we won the league again last season. Oh, okay, so. yeah, one, nine. So that's the 19 banner. It looks good from TV. <laughs> I'm currently being led into the stadium by, we've got Shane, who's this? Hey, Gary. We've got Gary and Alex. and Alex. Fact, Gary is on Irish Gogglebox. So if you're in Ireland, Gary, everybody. Now there's links all over the world, we have a massive link with Roma. would have been suede head, mod, scooter boys and Rovers fans always followed that tradition. Mm -hmm. But I'm delighted now in the new area which I've granddaughters not aware of. 
which is uh, <laughs> welcome with everyone from every Tommy. country, every city in the world, every denomination, and uh, it's a fucking brilliant, man. You know, we're all working to see you. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. It's a very traditional song. It's a, it was an Irish man wrote it. It was called Keep the Green Flag Flying for you. While we are here, you'll never die. We keep the green flag flying high. Shamrock Rovers will never die. We'll keep the green flag flying high. Um, I've just tweeted this out actually. I was just tweeting it while I was in the, uh, the old taxi on the way back. You know how I feel about non-league football. Love it. Support it. All day long. That sort of passion is one that's growing very quickly despite only doing two games here in Ireland. Done Cork City. Now done Shamrock Rovers. Although I've been told not to say Cork City. It's City. And I've been told not to say Shamrock Rovers. It's Rovers. I've done Rovers and City. And genuinely, like, Irish football fans piss. Absolutely piss over English fans. As an Englishman saying that as well, it means so much more to them. I was chatting to a few lads down the pub and they hate cameras, they hate vloggers, but I feel like I've wormed my way in there, I've spoke to the guys, I've had good chats, and uh, hopefully I'll come across as a genuine guy, because I am a genuine guy, I'm just going to the football, I want to enjoy it. And I'm hoping that, despite taking a camera, I can showcase uh, Rovers and have showcased City as best as I possibly can, because um, they may hate these new trends of vloggers, but I think we're going to help them get the word out there about Irish football. If you're watching this and you travel around the country, or you travel around the world and you watch football, and you haven't yet done Irish football, pick a team and go there. And I'm not even just saying Rovers or City. Pick any team, and I'm fairly certain you're going to get a decent level of atmosphere most places. I can't speak on behalf of all teams at the moment, but so far, it's two for two for me. And I think what's most important is just Irish people. I've not come across, and I'm sure there's plenty of idiots out there, but every single Irish person that I've bumped into and spoke to, just so, they're just so nice. They're even nicer when they're drunk. So um, I'm a big fan of Ireland. It's a new thing for me, and uh, obviously with um, the English football season coming to an end, Irish football is still thriving, it's going to be going through the summer, so I will 100% be back here. Where I go next, who knows, but um, this has been brilliant. It's been two games, in two days, in two countries, Tottenham v Arsenal, Rovers v Derry, and both went in my favour. Happy days. Coming your Spurs, up the Rovers. Whoa!